Hi everyone, I am Chaitra from Informatica MDM team. Today we are going to discuss what are all the basic configurations we should check if the tasks are not visible in the E360 screen. We can see many times where tasks would be available in the ActiveOS console but not be able to see it in the E360 screen. In this type of scenarios, first we need to check whether the following configurations are in place. First let's discuss about the hub console configuration. The first thing, in the hub console under workflow manager, we need to make sure that the, you have registered the ActiveOS engine with the correct username and the password. Also, the user should have the AB trust role in the app server. The second point, the workflow engine connection should be successful. And third point, we need to link the correct workflow engine to the ORS. I'll just show you the demo. This is my hub console. Here under workflow manager, we need to make sure that we have registered the B Activos engine. If you are using the business entity related task, then you need to register the B Activos engine with the correct username and the password. Here I have registered my B Activos engine with the username AOS, right? We need to make sure that this AOS user has the AB trust role in the app server. Okay. The second point, right? Acquire a write log and check the workflow engine connection. Click here and we need to make sure that the workflow connection should be successful. Okay, and come to the next tab. And if I am creating the task for MDM sample ORS, then I need to link the B Activos engine to the MDM sample ORS. In here I need not to link any secondary workflow engine we need to make sure that I am linking the B Activos uh, engine to the prime as a primary workflow engine here okay these three configuration we need to check in the hub console yeah coming to the next uh, point we need in the Activos console configuration in Activos console the first thing we can able to see all the E360 tasks only when it is in the running state in the ActiveOS console. Okay. The second point, we need to make sure that the identity service test is passing for the admin user. Third thing, we need to check the potential owner of the task. Okay. The fourth one, it's only apl applicable for the JBoss application server. And I have mentioned this particular KB article also, you can go through. It, this tells how to enable security domain for ActiveOS in the standalone full.xml. If we don't have any security uh, domain enabled for ActiveOS, then the tasks would not be available uh, in the E360 screen. We can't see the tasks in the E360 screen. So for that, we need to enable security domain in the ActiveOS. I'll just show you the ActiveOS console. This is my ActiveOS console. The first thing, if you want, if you want to see this particular task in the e360 screen then we need to make sure that this particular task is in the running state okay second thing is identity service test come to the admin tab and click on identity service click on test here test the identity service for the admin user only okay test here and you need to make sure the test is successful okay the third one is check the potential owner of the task so let's assume this particular task is present in the ActiveOS console but it's not visible in the e360 then we need to check the potential owner open that particular task and click on the human task here you could see this potential owner tab right so check this potential owner convention always would be ORS ID followed by your role. We can have multiple roles uh, as a potential owner. Here all the users who belongs to the senior manager role can only able to see the task in E360 screen. Okay. So this potential owner or uh, uh, all the roles right comes from the provisioning tool. The next point is provisioning tool configuration in provisioning tool configuration i can show you under task type let's assume if we are seeing the one step approval task in the e360 then check which is the task type we have defined in the trigger okay for my one step approval task the task type is be final review under be final review we can have multiple roles right 
all those roles are pot potential owner of this particular task okay only those you need to assign like multiple roles for this particular task type and all the users who belongs to these roles can only able to see the task in a360 and under this particular role we can define business entity right so now you have created a person uh, task for person business entity then you need to add this particular person b under this task type and this particular potential owner okay so basically in hub console activos and provisioning tool we need to check all these basic configuration first and if all these configurations are in place then the task should be available uh, in the e360 screen okay yeah, that's all i have uh, we would love to hear more from you from support videos at informatica.com and also twitters.informatica.com thank you